that if you are not grateful for that which shows up in your life, you will block its entrance into your life. And if you're not generous with what does show up in your life, you will also block it. And so the ways to create this attitude of gratitude and this attitude of generosity are to begin a practice, a daily practice, of being grateful for all that shows up for yourself. That's the first thing. Just keep in mind how lucky you are to have anything that you might have. So the first thing that you do is develop an awareness of yourself as a recipient rather than a victim. You are a receiver and you are in the act of having more show up in your life and you are claiming that for yourself. Not because you're selfish, but because you are entitled to the abundance of the universe since you are the universe. And then secondly, I would practice the silent expression of gratitude whenever you start to see your desires manifesting from the universal source. Just tiny little indications inwardly that you are grateful. Thank you for allowing this to show up. Whenever a little coin shows up, just to picking it up and putting it in your pocket and saying thank you. It's a symbol of all of the abundance that has shown up in my life. Then I would recommend that you daily become a person who's willing to tell those around you how much you appreciate them. Just simple little things like holding your spouse, not for just a little kiss, good morning or good night, but just maybe an extra 15 seconds of a squeeze and just, uh, gee, it's really nice to have you in my life. I'm really grateful that you and I are married. I'm grateful that you're my lover. Or to your children. You know, I'm really unfortunate and blessed to be your father or to have you in my life or even the sales lady or even the waitress or even the flight attendant thank you I really appreciate your consideration in bringing me the fork I asked for or putting the glass of water in front of me whatever it is. just little indicators of your appreciation and then I'd be very thankful and avoid complaining as much as possible don't complain don't explain a good rule to keep uppermost in your mind one of the things I do each day is I begin the day with an expression of gratitude and thanksgiving. Just a simple little statement. There are some people who get up every morning and say, Good God, morning. And there are others who get up and say, Good morning, God. I'm one of the people who's in the latter group. I say, Good morning, God, not Good God, morning. And I'm grateful every morning that I wake up, that I got another 24 hours, that I got through the night, that I had a good night's sleep, that I have a bed to sleep in, that I have a family, that I have my health, that I have whatever it is, and I'm thankful for that, and expressing it just not in a phony way, but even if it's done privately, it gives you that attitude of gratitude that allows the flow of energy to come into your life. Also, it's important to be grateful for all that you don't have, and for the struggles, and for the opportunity to transcend some of the things that you have perceived to be limitations to transcend some of your addictions and some of your behaviors that aren't as harmonious and loving as you'd like them to be. Without those, you couldn't get to a higher place. And keep in mind always, as you're working on this attitude of gratitude, that the nature of thought is to increase because the nature of everything in the universe is to increase. And the universe is made up of this energy, the same energy that allows you to think. So if the universe is expanding and it's made up of what's in you, then your thoughts are also expanding. And if your thoughts are on things like, I don't feel very good or I'm not happy or negativity in any way, then that will be the thing that continues to expand. On the other hand, if your thoughts are on how grateful you are, then that will continue to expand. And of course, as you become more grateful, you are feeling more connected rather than separated from that which is your source. It's also important to practice generosity in your life as a part of this principle. And that one of the things to do is to recognize that this is a way of being that definitely can be developed. You can, in fact, practice being generous. And generosity is a way of showing that you have trust in this divine intelligence. And stinginess and hoarding are a way of you saying, I don't think there's enough. I'd better hang on to it. And it's a disbelief in the abundance of the universe and more of a recognition of scarcity. And when you have a scarcity consciousness, it is scarcity that shows up in your life. And when you have an abundance consciousness, it is abundance which shows up in your life. Think of the things that other people do for you every day. Think of the things that you couldn't do without the help of other people. And become aware of the internal resistances that arise within you when you have an impulse to give. 
Remember that you're one human being connecting to another in a spirit of love and kindness and generosity. And this idea that, oh, I better not tip too much or I better be very careful about how much I give because then they'll expect more. The more of this that you give away, the more that shows up in your life that you allow to flow through you, the more you encourage that which you would like to have manifested to show up for you in your life. It's one of the laws of the universe. It's simply stated as what goes around comes around. And as if you allow it to come around, it will continue to go around. If you stop it with your stinginess and your hoarding, then you stop the flow. And also it's important to practice being able to receive, just like it is to be able to give. Just listen to this. One breath in, I receive. I can't keep that breath. I have to give it back. Every breath you take is a giving and a receiving. It's the same way with the food that you eat. It's the same way with everything that we have in our life. We have a food chain that is natural to the survival of everything on the planet. There is a giving and there is a giving back. And all that we give back, we give it back in the form of fertilizers. We give it back in the form of our own bodies, which ultimately becomes tomorrow's food. Everything on the planet in this moment, as Ken Wilber says, is tomorrow's food giving and receiving. And the fact is, if you don't know how to receive, if it's difficult for you to accept from others, then you are blocking it just as much as your unwillingness to give. Giving, receiving. Receiving, giving. It's the way of the universe.